Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. If you're already enjoying the ease of file management to and from your deck using the powerful SSHFS solution from my previous video, you know the joys of not having to do these tasks on the deck itself. Oh sure, if you have a mouse and keyboard attached to your deck, it isn't quite as bad, but there are powerful tools and windows you can leverage on the deck once the file system is mapped as a drive in Windows. Today we'll look at three power user things you can do with your deck and a Windows PC using SSHFS. Stick around. While I'm fully aware there are many tools for showing you disk usage analysis on the Steam Deck, I gotta be honest, nothing quite compares to Space Sniffer on Windows. After all, if you've ever used Disk Usage Analyzer, and believe me, I've got videos on it, and then you compare it to this, obviously this would be the better tool to use. From a visual standpoint, from a layout standpoint, from the ability to drill and dig in a visual, usable manner, I personally find Space Sniffer to be the superior tool. What's more, it's very easy to use, anybody can do it, and it actually gives you a really good idea where all of that sneaky space is at. You can even open these files, preview them, look at them, delete them, and do everything through one single interface. And that, my friends, is amazing. If it's something more from a file management perspective, Directory Opus has you covered. All we have to do is turn on a relevant size column and allow it to automatically generate the file sizes, and we get a beautiful visual indication of where our space is being sucked away on our system. Here we're looking at my SSD card, and obviously the games are what's taking up all the space, but which games? Which games are the heavy hitters? It's very easy to tell here. How about archive handling? 7-zip, RAR, ZIP, LHA, multi-part RARs. It's a pain to do that on the Steam Deck unless you install tools and figure out how to use them. Here we can use WinRAR to actually extract all of them easily and into their own folder with a couple of clicks. Yes, even the elusive multi-part RAR stands no chance against the power of Windows tools. And there they are. All extracted, ready to use, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, next up, how about file previews? Sure, right, Horizon Zero Dawn came with a beautiful digital art book, which I don't even have to copy over or try to look at on the deck. I can simply look at it here inside of Windows. Likewise, if I would like to look at an INI file or a config file for a value, easy peasy to do it here. Also, we could actually open up bash scripts or sh files, text files, etc., on the deck, and edit them, view them right here with a beautiful syntax colored editor. Sometimes you need hash values, MD5, SHA1, from a given file to compare against something you downloaded. Super easy using fhash here on Windows. Of course, tools are abound on Windows. Things for backup, syncing, cloning, all sorts of good tools are available to you. You probably already own one of these. You could actually do backups of very important things. In this case, I'm backing up my emulation saves and my emulation station folder inside of the home deck directory. Things that if I lost due to some catastrophe, I would be pretty upset. If this video didn't give you some neat new ideas for harnessing the power of SSHFS with your Steam Deck, I'm hoping it set your mind in a new direction, thinking about how you can massively improve your workflow with this mighty mapping solution. Which of these tips was your favorite? What did I miss? Speak your mind in the comments below. While you're there, of course, I'd love your like, subscription, and if you hit that little notification bell, you won't miss a single future video on this channel. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, and take care.